Hello, and welcome again to another edition of Fort Fuel Campus News. I'm Haley Knipple. And I'm Nick Hassinger. In Campus News, if you've read this year's common reading experience, Dead Man Walking, by Sister Helen Prejean, you might enjoy attending the film and discussion event tonight, Wednesday, October 8th, from 7 to 8.30 p.m. in the Viacito Room. Here, you'll get to meet the author and learn more about what went into her novel. If you're interested in black bears or urban ecology, come to Noble Hall 130 on Thursday, October 9th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. and learn how wildlife researcher Dr. Heather Johnson and others have conducted their research in Durango and what they're finding out about our largest local carnivore. Next Monday, October 13th, is Columbus Day. El Centro will be hosting Real History of the Americas, a program which will run from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. in the Student Union Ballroom. A culminating evening show will feature guest performers at 6 p.m. The public is welcome anytime. And now to Nicholas Sports. Mark your calendars. This year's Fort Lewis football homecoming game against the Colorado School of Mines will be broadcast on national television by the CBS Sports Network on Thursday, October 16th. Kickoff is at 6 p.m. Elliot Prost and Luke Lawrence scored one goal each to lead the Fort Lewis men's soccer team to a 2-1 win at CSU Pueblo. Sunday afternoon. The win marked the Skyhawks' seventh of the season as they improved to 7-3 and three overall and 5-1 and one in the RMAC. In golf news, Joshua Woodworth shot a third round score of 80 to finish tied for 30th place at the University of Wyoming Cowboys Southern Dunes Invitational. Woodworth led the FLC men's golf team to an eighth place finish, finishing the tournament with 228. And that wraps up another edition of Fort Fuel Campus News. Be sure to go online for all your campus news and check the big yellow boxes for our latest print issue. I'm Nick Hassinger. And I'm Haley Knipple. And until next time, see, see you on, on campus. campus.